But let's throw over your Ukraine see. Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. Today we're going to be building some Ukrainian tanks. The T-64 BV Mod 2017. The T-64 BVK Commander's Tank. And the T-64 BM-2 Bulat. So the T-64 is a Soviet main battle tank manufactured in Kharkiv, which is actually in Ukraine in the Malyshev factory. A lot were built but after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Ukraine actually kept development of the T-64's modernization. That's why we have the Mod 2017, etc. This is armed with a 125 millimeter gun, lots of ERA explosive reactive armor in the front. And you may have remembered we done a tutorial on the T-72B3. Now the way to tell them apart, the easiest way is actually the front ERA armor. So in the T-64, they're actually all combined, bunched up like that. While on the T-72, they have a gap between, they're spaced apart. So the T-72 is actually a cheaper model of the T-64. They wanted to make it simple and cheaper so they can mass produce it. But overall, it's actually a worse tank even though the number is higher. The T-64 has a faster autoloader, but it's more complex, leading it to be more expensive. So first off, the T-64 BV Ma 2017. We got the ERA armor here on the side and apparently the reason why is that the crew of three that is inside just sits here in the front. We got an antenna here and this side we have a pair of smoke grenade launchers right here. The other side does not. And in the back we have some step ups to go up on the sides or that could be stabilizers. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but anyways, this one right here is actually the same thing. They just sometimes they added a mine plow in the front of it. That's one of the things you can add to your Soviet tanks. Then next up we have the T-64 BVK. Now this is basically a commander's version of the T-64. And this is a modernized version of it. So it actually does have these hanging rubber skirts on the turret. So I have them down. And that little white thing is supposed to be like one of the white crosses, but unfortunately Minecraft you can't add in a total white cross. And the commander's version is different because it has additional radio stations, at least the modernized version. So right here I have it with three antennas sticking out, which I saw in a video. Although I'm not sure if that was like a full production model, it might be just a prototype. Because when I looked at some videos of the T64 BVK, a lot of them, they didn't really have the three antennas. They just had like one on this side or like one on the other side. Uh, but this one's also cool because it has the Ukrainian flag. You just add that to uh, one of the antennas. I also added this fence on this side just so it could be as the base for this antenna. And there also is like this larger box over here on the side as compared to the other one. It's like smaller right there. Another difference is they have a new commander's camera over here, although it's supposed to be really on the side. I don't really have room because there's a trap door in the way, so I just add it on top here. It's just a tiny little detail different. All right, so the last tank, we have the T-64 BM-2 Bulat. It has the same rubber skirts on the turret, just making it look more round. That's like one of the main ways you can tell. It also is different because it has smoke grenade launchers on both sides, so one here. Another one right there. And another difference is this antenna is gonna be on the right side. Well, if you look on the BV, it's right here in the middle. And in the back, we have some slat armor. Now this is actually optional because I've seen a lot of videos, they don't include it, I guess, during the war. They just remove it a lot of the times. And that's like one of the optional things they could add it or they can add nothing. A lot of times it's nothing. So yeah, that's one of the two things you can add. The plow and the slat armor. So that's pretty much it for all the variants of the tank. And I hope you guys enjoy this video because this took a lot of time researching about it. And this video is not sponsored. But if you guys do want to sponsor a video or commission a build, check out the link in the description. It really does help if you want to see more videos like this one because I'm really doing this for free. But anyways, let's get started. All right, so here are all the tanks I'm going to be building today. The BV, the BVK, and the BM2. Basically, I'm going to be making one base model and then later we'll split off the tutorial. So, first off, for the base model, let's grab some materials. We're going to take out a dark prismarine slab, a polished blackstone brick slab, a chiseled polished blackstone, polished blackstone brick stairs, a spruce button, a warp trap door, and a warp fence gate, and a dark prismarine stairs, and a warp sign. All right, so first off, we're gonna place a dark prismarine slab. It's gonna be hovering above the ground like this, three blocks wide. And then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab here. And then uh, we'll add in our chiseled polished blackstone two blocks long and then back-to-back -back polished blackstone brick stairs. And then three chiseled um, 
black stone. Then upside down, polished black stone brick stairs, a warp trap door here, and then three warp trap doors in the middle, and then dark prismarine slabs, and it's going to be um, all the way across to the front. Then in the corner here, we'll add in a dark prismarine stairs like that. And then the sides will add in spruce buttons all along the wheels, just like that. Then we'll add in dark prismarine block over here, extend it all the way across to the front. And then upside down, polished black stone brick stairs in the back. A warp uh, fence gate, open that up like that. And then dark prismarine stairs three blocks wide, all the way across like that. Then we'll add in warp signs all the way across here in the back. And then we'll go in the front corner, dark oak signs like this. And then a lever here in the middle and a birch shop door right there. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine slab in the middle. Behind it, green terracotta two blocks wide. And we'll go in the back, we'll add in green terracotta another two blocks wide. And then a polished deep slate block in the middle and then two more green terracottas. Extend that all the way up here to the front like this, and then we'll add in a dark prismarine slab right here. Then two daylight detectors, and close this one up. Then two dark prismarine slabs, then two daylight detectors, and we'll make these two uh, in the front blue. Add two warp trap doors underneath here. Then we're going to add in a mossy cobblestone wall here, and then a green terracotta will make it a two by two. And then we'll add upside down, dark prismarine stairs facing the front. Then I'm going to add in a warp pressure plate right here. In the middle of this, um, daylight detector, make it blue. Then we'll go in the back, add in two daylight detectors here, make them blue. And then we'll add in two warp trap doors right here and a green carpet at the very edge. All right, so once we're done with that, we're to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it looks like this. Then we're gonna add in a dark prismarine slab next to this, dark oak fence gate in the front, and to the side, a zombie head. Another zombie head to the side of this, and a flower pot right behind it. Then we're gonna add dark prismarine stairs upside down, facing outwards, both sides, um, like that. Then I'm going to add in a green terracotta inside here and a polished deep slate next to that. Then we'll add two blocks wide dark oak trap doors in the back like that. And then we'll add in a dark prismine slab in this little corner here. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for our base model. Then I'm going to make a copy right here. Alright, so once we made a copy, it looks like that. Now we're going to be making the BV version of it. So to make that version, let's go inside this, add in the zombie head to each side. Upside down, dark prismine stairs, both sides. A warp fence gate here, open it up. And then a dark prismine stairs upside down here. Warp fence gate three blocks wide, open the outer ones up. And then we'll add in the zombie head to the front of this. Then the middle, we'll add in a chain and three blocks tall of iron bars. Then to the side, we'll add in a warp trap door right there. And then a green candle on the other side here. And then three blocks wide of daylight detectors. So one, two, three. And we're going to make them all blue. Also add in a flower pot to the side of this. Then we'll add in a mossy cobblestone wall here. Warp trap door behind it. And a green carpet behind the pressure plates both sides. And then we'll add in a birch button. One here, another one facing the other way. And then a warp trap door right there. And in front of that's going to be ERA, the spruce pressure plate. And then to the side, we'll add in a birch trap door, close it up. Warp trap door, close it up. A birch button and a birch sign. And then a warp trap door. Other side will do the same thing. So birch trap door. And then a warp trap door, a birch button, and a birch sign. Warp trap door again, and in the back we'll add in four blocks long of warp signs just like this. The other side we're going to pretty much do the same thing. And then we'll add in a warp trap door right inside here. And we'll make sure to 
open these vents gates on the outer parts in case they're closed. And in the front, we'll add in a dark prismarine slab right inside there. All right, so that's how you make the T64BV. Now let's move on to the T64BVK and the BM2. So for these two tanks, they're gonna be sharing the same base model. So I'm gonna make a second base model. So let's go into it. So basically we'll turn these uh, daylight detectors so that they're blue like that. And then to the side, we'll add in a dark prismarine stairs, two of them, corner the front one up. Other side, we'll do the same thing like that. In the back, we'll add in a birch trap door right there. Then in the middle, we'll add in upside down birch stairs. And then the back of this, a birch fence gate. Or fence gates on sides, open them up. And then three blocks across the electectors. And we'll make the outer ones so that they are blue. And make sure you open this again, close that one in the middle. And then we'll go off to the side, add in a zombie head here. A chain on top and a chain here in the middle. Then we'll go in the front, add in a birch button here and another birch button facing the other way. Just like that. And then the middle birch trap door. All right, next up, we're gonna add in four blocks long of warp fence like this. And then a birch sign here, punch in a hole here, two blocks long, birch slab inside, and then dark prismine stairs facing the back like that. Other side, we'll pretty much do the same thing. Punch in a hole, birch slab, and then dark prismine stairs facing the back like this. And then we'll punch in another hole here and delete this actually. This is supposed to be a green terracotta inside there. And then a birch slab inside, just like so. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, just punching a hole right there. I'm changing the design a little bit. And then we're gonna add in a birch button in the front, stone button behind it, and punch in a hole here. It's gonna be, um, a birch slab, an upper birch slab like that. Other side will do the same thing, just the other way around, just like that. Then I'm gonna add in a birch slab here, and then the back will add in two birch trap doors here, like that. And actually I made a mistake on this side. This is like one fence too tall. Make sure you put a birch sign right there. All right, so that's pretty much it for our base model. Now we're gonna split off the tutorial again and make a copy of this, build it right here. All right, so here I made a copy of it. Now let's make the BVK. So first off, um, let's go on the side here. We're gonna add in a nether brick fence and a black candle right there. And then a green terracotta and a spruce sign to the side of that. For on this side, we'll make the Ukrainian flag, just a yellow glass pane, two blocks long, blue glass pane, two blocks long, and black glass pane right on top like that. Next, we'll add in two birch buttons right over here. And then we'll add in a spruce pressure plate here in the middle, a dark oak fence gate here on the side, open that up. All right, so next up, we'll need to make these two banners. So first off, go inside the loom, green banner, white dye. And we're gonna make this go have a line in the middle, put it back inside. And then green dye that's gonna be on the top half, put it back inside. Then we want it on the bottom half, so like this. It's basically just a dot now, and let's see if we did that correctly. Yep, and we'll just add this right here for the green cross. Now for the other banner, it's a little more complicated than that. It's actually a green banner, yellow dye, and we need a Creeper charge banner pattern. Once we have that, put it back inside. And we'll add in green dye. And we want to cover up the left hand side, put it back inside. And we'll cover up the bottom half. Put it back inside. And then yellow dye on the upper left hand corner, put it back inside. Then green banner again. Make a border around it. Let's say make this so like that. And we're just gonna put this on the other side like so. And you know what, just change this middle slab into a birch slab like that. All right, so that's how you make the BVK for the commander's tank. Now let's move on to the last one, the BM2 Bulat. So for that one, we'll use the same banner that we just made for this. And with this time we're gonna place it on this side like that. And then we'll need to make this banner right here. So we'll need to go inside the loom, add in green banner. Gray dye, center, column, put it back in. Green dye, top row, then bottom half. 
Yellow die top left. And green die border. And we're just going to place this on left hand side like that. Front, there's also going to be a bird slab underneath this part here. Then we'll go off in the back, dark oak fence gate opening up towards the front, both sides. Then a zombie head to the side, and two black stained glass panes over here. Then change this daylight detector so it's yellow, and two birch buttons like that. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the BM2 Bulat and all the T64 uh, tanks in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to support the channel, consider sponsoring a video or doing a commission. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.